Alright, what is up you guys, and of course as always, welcome back to, well, the EVT Week 2 versus the Bullet Punch Club, if I remember correctly, and Uzi, who is one of those players I've really been looking forward for quite some time to actually battling. Uzi has been one of those players that, uh, you know, i known him for, since Generation 2, so I've been like 7-8 years in the making, however, um, he was searching for being a part of one of my first competitive leagues in TBU, but didn't get the chance to join, which was really unfortunate, and I still don't know why he couldn't, and it just was one of those things, like, I always enjoyed Uzi's content, as he is one of those players that I would say are um, having a really, really strong personality. Narration comes naturally for him, and it makes the battle that much more enjoyable, so after watching this game, make sure to check out his side of this very same game, as I'm pretty sure, no matter how this game turns about and how much heavily I get destroyed, that um, he will bring, you know, a more in-depth narration. Uh, that said, though, I'm clearly nervous for this game, as um, he has the Zeraora, and it's a Pokemon that um, I shouldn't say I struggle against it, but I don't necessarily natural switch-ins for it. So uh, both have Reagan and Kubelion. With Shuffleberry to able to soak a close combat or an aura sphere. And that's about it. <laughs> I was considering having a Gregent, which I think is a great Pokemon still, but I decided that we're optimized for Primarina just by um, his. Um, he has a Pesimion in his team, and that Pokemon is absolutely annoying. So, yeah, with that said, I'm gonna pause here. So, so right, I'm games. combining this with other video. It took us roughly one hour. And it is bothering me so much. I really hate this process as, quite frankly, you know, you're in a certain mood before going into the game. And waiting, like in this time, one hour, it just, it takes the edge off. And it, oh, I really, really wish this was smoother than it really is. Um, but right, with that said, you know, Uzi feels just the same way, really, when I was this. The team looks the part, um, actually looked exactly like I was thinking. Not that it helps, we see Toki, Serora, Pesimian, Arcanine, Kyurem, and Steelix. <sighs> hate this team. It's a good team. This is why I hate it. Um, just gonna write them down. Togekiss. I really hope Serora isn't scarfed. Uh, Pesimian should be scarfed. Um, let's see. Serora. I just write them down so I can have... Um, like a quick look, as you know, since you're on a timer, you kind of shouldn't say you're stressed out, but you, you're stressed out. So I'm gonna lead off with Pre Marina and we'll take it from there. Uh, I think that's the easiest way of going about this. And it's a substitute Pre Marina, so I really hope I can get some momentum with that Pokemon. But overall, I'm just feeling like really stressed out as I believe uh, Uzit has probably the best team of this league. At least the synergy makes so much sense and even more so against me. So, <laughs> so you know, of I am of course worried. Um, I usually like, you know, joke and say, you know, I pray for differential, but I am absolutely playing for differential. <laughs> so, all right, let's see. He's going to lead off with Math Riddle, Pesimian. Uh, I can only assume, like I said, it is a Scarf variant, and uh, that he might take a chance to U-turn early. Um, so I'm gonna go for a safe Scald. I believe Moonblast knocks him out bad. Um, actually, Moonblast is kind of not a bad play either. Um, if it goes to knockoff, then you know, good for him. But I would definitely U turn here and I guess the safest. No, oh, gunk shot, cool. And misses. Ooh. Ooh, that's tough. That is tough indeed. Uh, and that did not help. <laughs> okay. So gunk shot was kind of nasty. Um. I'm clearly not taking another one of those. None of my mods really are. Um, I don't see him go for a knockoff. Um, Jesus Christ. Yeah, Alright, let's do this. <sighs> that was... That sucked for him. 
That really sucks for him. Um, I forgot that Pokemon learns Gunk Shot. So we'll see what he does here. Close combat. Alright, so he's not Scarf the least. Um, go for this rather safe Shadow Ball. And. Uh, Alright, we get some really good momentum from our side from the beginning. I, I won't deny that, you know, this is very favored or. This puts us in, a, is in an advantage against him. He's not. You don't want to see that lead for him. And uh, I feel for my opponent here, as I don't believe he deserved. He deserved to land that gunk shot. And whether or not it would have killed me, I am max defense after all. But Pesimian has, I do believe, 120 special attacks. So that should be, you know, plenty uh, for it to potentially knock me out. Um, right, we got that out of the way. Yeah, like I said, that is, that just sucks. You know, I'm, I'm that type of opponent, like, I'm, while I do always want to win, I always kind of, I don't want tax in my favor, ever. Alright, Kyurem. I don't have a natural switch in towards Kyurem at all. Uh, the only thing I kind of got is uh, both, yeah, I got ex-wife, which should be good here. I do believe Free Strike still does a decent chunk. We are especially defensive. But, um, you know, this guy could always go for Dragon Dance and be a weird set, and that would be tremendous. We'll see what it does. Free Strike, alright. So it's gonna be super effective, but Thick Feather is gonna cover most of that. And uh, we should go for Knockoff. I believe Steelix is his easiest play here. Uh, flash cannon should do a significant chunk. Arcanine can also be kind of tough on me, but uh, I would not think that he's switching that from a potential earthquake. Right, he does switch out at least to Ferdinand. All right, Arcanine. So I guess the knockoff helps, but depending on what it does. I mean, it's still all reduced. Damage anyway. I did alright. Choice. Ooh, okay. <laughs> huh. Oh, that. Don't want to see that. Um. He should still do the wild charge play. <laughs> um. He won't definitely won't flare blitz. Um. We know it's three or four attacks for sure. So Wild Charge, I guess, Flare Blitz, Close Combat, and I can't, like Stone Edge maybe the last one? We'll see. If he's a man, it goes a Wild Charge here. Goes with Flare Blitz, alright, cool. Uh, shouldn't do too much. Still does plenty, actually. <laughs> alright, cool. Um, so that's Adamant, for sure. Uh, question is, do I want to take a wild charge? Kind of don't. But yeah, that's the thing. Like I'm out of options, so does wild charge knocks us out? I mean, it's it's absolutely up there. I don't like this. Uh, he does switch out, which is good for us. <laughs> Too happy. Alright, and yeah, we don't want to see that guy. Nobody want to see that guy. Right, Scald. It does alright. A burn would have helped, but yeah, it does alright. Our switch in here is... I'm, I'm kind of feeling the ex-wife. I could keep scalding, but um, I just don't like that idea. It could be Thunder Wave, Air Slash, um, or he just could be very, very, very nasty. I'm playing really blind here. We didn't see any leftovers, at least. So, right, he calls that, goes to Hubert, and. Uh, What if I what if I stayed in the wind for that moon blast? That would have been nasty, wouldn't it? So bring it in the ex-wife. <laughs> and uh, like here's the thing. 
Um, I'm gonna go for knockoff anyway here, but uh, he has the option to go for flash cannon. <sighs> and that's never pretty. I wonder what it was predicting me to switch into. Like, what did he think in his brain was the main switch in? Right, Draco, that's gonna do a good chunk. Yeah, yeah, I felt that one. I felt that one. Right, knock off. We're gonna knock off what? Choice off. That's alright though, isn't it? Um, So I could bring in my five horn here. Now I do believe he wanna potentially take the chance to switch out. Right? I don't wanna like waste Mammoth Swine, but at the same time. Yeah, what I do here. It's good to know that it was a choice at least. That means it's four attacks too. He's really thinking about these plays. Um, I don't know which difference is between our timers, but I feel a bit stressed out. Brings in Happy. So... I don't believe our switch in here is the worst. I absolutely will stress him out at least. And uh, I'll just do the obvious play, right? I, I, I go for Iron Head here. Even though I bring in... Yeah... Castilex comes in here. And there is really nothing I can do about that. Um, I guess I can stress him a bit. Um, he does stay in, so he could carry Barberry potentially. Or, you know, I am faster and he's switching Steelix. That made more sense in my head now afterwards. To the Golden. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright. Golden Shoe. Um, that's right, he has to make a call here. Um, the way I see it, I have two plays. But my easiest one just directly go for a skull, right? Um, that's fitting enough. I do have substitute in case I want to take this opportunity. But basically, if he decides to stay in, uh, skull could bring him down to the, to the sturdy, and if I burn him, he'll lose the steelix from straight out the bat. So did, um, I guess you say easy play, bring in Happy, force him to take another Scald, and uh, burn him. Got a crit at least. Crit burn! There we go. I remember those hacks. Planned hacks. I was cleared off of my opponent. Um, he needs to push it for a roost here. That's for sure. At least I would. Um, I'm gonna send in the ex-wife. I do believe I've threatened him good enough here. I would have roosted here for sure. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Makes sense. And I don't believe I win that matchup. It's all depending on how much damage he does. But... Um, I have two options, but I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for Stone Edge. I don't believe he's gonna stay in. And I think Arcanine is a fair switch in predicting that. Let's see. Yeah, he switches out at least. Steelix? Ferdinand. Please connect this. I need this so much. Oh, uh, there I go! Nice. All right, Arcanine's out. I'm, I'm feeling some. I'm feeling stressed out. I really do. Um. <laughs> All right, Sapphire, Saora, and what I do to Saora, right? I mean, it is that free close combat, right? That's gonna send in Helios and. Like, I have no real game plan here. Like, if he goes for Plasma Fist, like, that's it. 
I am worried. Substitute this man though. This man. And leftovers. But we got one trick up our sleeve and that is fall play. And we'll absolutely break it. The Plasma Fist should do a lot of damage. And if he's bulk up, well... We'll take it from there. <laughs> Basically, yeah, I remember that move. That move isn't scary. Um, okay. Right, foul play is gonna break the sub, but it's whether or not we can take a knockoff or what I would like to assume is a plasma fist from this guy. Uh, I mean, he is not in a pretty position either. He, he either go for the damage or he goes for another sub. I am absolutely not burning him. At this time, I just really want the damage on there. Right, he keeps subbing. That's right, I'll absolutely consider shipping him down over anything else. Uh, and if you hear some scratching, it's my cat that wants to get out of the room. Not the time. <laughs> you see, if you see in this, just let, I'm just gonna let you know, I have no idea where or not I can take that Plasma Fist. So why don't you just try to attack me? <laughs> Kill me now or set me free. There we go. <laughs> please survive this. I have no idea how, but please do. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Please kill. Oh, it didn't. It absolutely didn't. You know what? You know what? I am happy with that damage. So I'll just keep foul playing. Um, he can claim his kill if he wants to. Close combat, right, cool. So now he has to switch out, basically. And my Gengar is always the fastest Pokemon on the field. Can it thunder? Thank you. <laughs> Because I either bait him, or I attack him. But I, I'm feeling the attack, so we go for that. Um, he's Kyurem left, he has... I can't remember which Pokemon he got left. Tokus. Still, Shadow Ball is a neutral damage here, just, just do it. Do the damage. The only position I don't want to be in, and uh, I'm being up frank here, that's... Like, something I don't want to see that I think is going to screw me over is um, if it gets behind a sub and I can't break it. Um, so, Golden Shovel. There the boy is. And I do believe his play should be Stealth Rocks all the time. Let's see. Special Defense Decrease. Cool! That means you are not getting your rocks up. I am so favored in this game, it's not even funny. Like, if... <laughs> if Usyk, you know, cuts a, cuts a win here, it is for all the right reasons. At this point, he's in such a disadvantage, you know, and it doesn't help. Like, the gunk shot miss in the beginning are so big. It's so goddamn big. Alright, here comes Happy. Clap along and if you feel like I'm there. He's clearly happy. And I won't do that much on this guy. And since we saw Roost, I am assuming... Absolutely assuming Thunder Wave. Right? I won't knock him out, so Roost makes a ton of sense too. Uh, so sending in the ex-wife and uh, yeah, there we go. There's the roost. So how comfortable do you feel? Because I don't feel comfortable at all. Um, don't get the air slash flinch, right? That's that's my plan. He switches out where he is not taking that, he's not gonna deal with that. To the golden shovel. And uh, the way I see it, like. 
I kind of need to knock this guy out, and I won't be able to with Earthquake. There is no way. But basically, if I don't do that, then. Yeah, I need to go very quick. Like, if he goes for Jarball, good on him. But I am not too worried about Stealth Rocks. And the only thing I'm leveling back and forth with. I think I'm being quite fair by saying so, that this is a man. This is a man. To Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! What did he predict? What did he predict? Oh no! I was sack playing. I wanted him down in case he went for rocks. Oh, no. Like, what do I even say? Besides, oh no. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This is, yeah, I did not, I did not see this. I did not see that one coming, alright. <laughs> I'm, I'm so surprised. Um, he must have think that I was gonna send him pre Marina. That's the only thing I can think of. Right, went for Earth Power. What a man, what a beast. Almost kills. And I have the easiest play in the world with close combat, right? He doesn't have anything that is faster in this Pokemon right now. Though Togekiss will absolutely take a hit. I think Earth Power was... That was a manly move. So he has to think, do we sax it? I don't even know if I really knock it out, to be honest. Togekiss, if it makes that play, um, our head will absolutely not knock him out. He does switch out at least. To the golden shovel, though, happy, he, he did it. Like I said, this is a man. <sighs> if I went for sword stance, if I had sword stance, that would have been rap, right? But yeah, Iron Head won't kill him here, I know that. I need to preserve Cobalion because it has 100% hit rates to everything. Ooh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Sending in the ex wife. Either sack play it or theoretically go for an ice shot and pressure him to put him in range where Iron Head will kill next time I come in. We'll see. He switches out happy. Goes to the golden shovel. And this time, he should be ready. This time, it's gonna stay in. And this time, I do this. <laughs> Alright, I predict him to go for stealth rocks. Right? It makes sense. Body press. Ah, oh, we're gonna eat that up. Sorry, son. Not today. And, um, yeah, I mean, I go for substitute here. And I think his play should be going to Tokus. Or if one lucky, cure him. But quite frankly, like, it doesn't matter. Brings him happy. Because one thing I kind of want to do is Moonblast away. Uh, I believe he wins this matchup out of flinches alone. But uh, if anything, the reason I kind of want to do this is because I want a special attack decrease. One thing that kind of does bother me though is that I got him burned because since I have Toxic, you know, that's that's an absolute response. Right, Air Slash, and then, like I said, oh... <laughs>
And minus one air slash might as well make me survive this rather easily. Easily ish. Because Ice Shard should put him in range where. Basically, I want to force his hand a little bit. I want to be able to lock myself into Sludge Wave. So. Combinations I see is that he goes for the kill here, feeling that, you know, it's a great leeway for him of getting that. Uh, or he switches into Steel Leaks and I get the Earthquake on that guy. Or he brings Curum, or he's just absolute mad lad. Alright, he stays in. So we had a really, really good chip. And uh, basically, I'm bringing Kobeli and go for an Arhead. I don't, don't know how much of a risk I want to take, but... I don't want to go for a close combat. Because I'll lose if... Um, if I lose this guy. So, Iron Head it is. Like I said, I really wish I had Iron Head. Or I mean Soul Sands. Uh, at the turn before. Um, but yeah, there we go. And I believe Steelix comes in. And, um, yeah, we don't knock this guy out at all, are we? No, no, we are not. So I'm going to do now is bring this guy. He could, could go for Stealth Rocks and could go for Body Press. If he goes with Body Press, I do believe that knocks us out. Earthquake. Alright, cool. Won't deny it. It was a blind gamble. Didn't think it was going to pay off. <laughs> I'm playing super aggressive here. I want to wrap up this game so badly. I feel we pushed this game long enough and... Uh, there we go. Cool. Unfortunately, I think we still die to this. Oh, we took it. We we kind of took it. Cool. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Okay, cool. I wonder what he thinks about right now. Right, he does decide to sack it. I absolutely will let Curum take me out. Because there is really nothing Hydreigon can do for the remaining matchups anyway. And uh, I I've been very quiet, but just because I kind of got, you know, consider how aggressive I like to play. I hate when you just get these like extreme standstills. Right, Dazzling Gleam should take us out. I don't believe I crit for Togekiss, depending on his set. But if anything, we were faster. And he roosts. So I need a special defense decrease here, or he could roost away. And he can Thunder Wave if he wants to. That's something I need to watch out for, but if I get a special defense decrease, then it's kind of nice. Come on, Thunder Wave, there you go. So next time he's gonna roost. So, Mamo is dead. Alright, I'm doing this then. He's clearly gonna go for... <sighs> I forgot Man was dead. Not that it matters, I would have played the same way anyway. Because I wanted that sack play. 
but I believe you're slash roost basically, and I'm gonna go for a sludge bomb, and I'm gonna knock you the fuck out. <laughs> Maybe. I think I'm absolutely in range where I should pull that off, and um, I won't deny it. I really want to bait for that Destiny Barn kill, but yeah, Toek is finally out. I guess I should have done this some way naturally before but with Primarina. But with Steelix active, I just didn't have uh, the offensive merits to pull that off. So Kyurem is kind of coming in for free, and uh, it's not in a low amount of HP, really. And I feel the pressure. And, you know, he clearly goes for Draco, and that should be a wrap. And we are locked into that. I really want the Destiny Bond. But yeah, we clear the scarf, so we're just gonna attack him. Draco's gonna kill us, and then we're gonna wrap the game up. Oh, it did plenty though. It did absolutely plenty. Uh, Earth power, gonna knock us out. There we go. Poor Asaisal, but really, you know, I'll take it. I'm not gonna say it was a good game, because I was so favored with, uh, with all the hacks that, quite frankly, <laughs> all I wanna say is I'm sorry. I feel that makes a way more sense um, I have no idea how I could turn both this game at all, but I absolutely feel that uh, had things gone his way in the beginning, that Primarina would not have been able to put that amount of pressure like it did. And I feel losing Pesimu like it did really made this game a lot more easier for me. So it's a really, really bitter victory. Uh, I never like. Look, I I love playing this game and I love. Um, I just say I love having a competitive game, but having having the game kind of tilted in your favor, for me those kind of matches are the worst, and uh, I stand by it. Like it's a really empty victory. So to Uzi, sorry, absolutely sorry. I clearly need to win, but this was not how I wanted to play this game. As you know, I think it was very clear. Consider he went for Gunshot in first turn. That you know he had a better idea and play in mind, I forgot that Basimian got gunk shots, I mean that's in my heavy disadvantage. Uh, the only thing I can kind of blame him for is the Seraora switching, with him losing Seraora to the Earthquake with Mamoswine. I thought it was weird, but I also in hindsight now know that he most likely would have predicted me to bring in Primarina and not sacking Mamoswine. Like I said, I needed the ship because I knew Seraora was uh, not scarfed and was wheeled down very low. So if I knock, uh, if I was able to knock out, uh, or if I was able to knock out Steelix, or at least bring it down, I know that I could lock myself in Sludge Bomb and do heavy hit on the most of the team. I just want to have that said, that was my mind process, and uh, I hope it makes sense that one now to watch this part of the game. And for everyone watching, you know, make sure to check out Uzi's game. I, like I said, I feel kind of awful winning this one, because I felt... Uh, I felt that this game was very much tilted in my favor, and uh, for everybody who's watching, you clearly saw that too, right? Uh, so, anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye.